I'm with Christine Comford, the author of Smart Tribes. And Christine, first of all, excellent book, excellent presentation here. The audience dearly loved you. Um, we have this word trust that gets thrown around. And I really get a sense that nobody knows really how to unpack that mm -hmm. word. And you've done a brilliant job in doing that. What are the three things that are necessary for trust to exist? Thank you, Vern. Um, safety, a feeling that um, kind of a freedom from fear, yeah. that I can express my thoughts, I can be who I am, I can take risks, and nothing bad will happen. So safety, belonging. I'm part of the tribe. Um, I fit in. I have mm. equal value with others. And then mattering. I'm seen. I'm celebrated for my unique gifts. I'm not just a face in the crowd. So when we have safety plus belonging plus mattering, then we create trust. And what's tricky in a culture, in a company, is that people want all different things. So you kind of have to do all of them, you know, <laughs> to be safe, if you will, yeah. to get that trust. And that's what I love about it because you know, I just ran a situation a couple weeks ago where trust was breaking down between myself and some partners in a deal that we were involved in. Yeah. And I couldn't unpack what it was that was causing it. And it yeah. immediately became you know, obvious which yeah. one of those three it was. So what do we have to do to create those three things? So first of all, we have to raise our awareness, you know? Yeah, and yeah, sure. I mean, we had, we had a client um, about six months ago where the engineers really felt like they didn't matter because the business people were yeah. just making decisions over them. But the business people felt that they didn't belong with the engineers, and so they weren't asking their advice. So here's all this great expertise. Here's this hurry, hurry, build a, biz, build a business, move forward. So these guys, the engineers started withholding information. The decisions got even worse, and we were like, whoa, stop this train. Yeah. And we had to bring them together, and we had to bring them together with communication, with the feedback frame, what's working, mm -hmm. and what I'd like to see more of. We had to bring them together with By the way, go back, teams. go back for a second. Yeah, yeah. That, say those two again because we tend to mess that up and then we throw people in this thing you call the critter, critter state. state. Yeah, and they're in an amygdala hijack and they're shut down. So the easiest way to give frequent informal feedback and it should yeah. be bi-directional, okay, the leader can get it, the leader can give it, yeah. is two questions. The first is, hey, what's working is, or two statements, the first one is what's working is or what I like is, just help the person load up the visual, auditory, kinesthetic, structures in their brain, they will be loading up pictures and sounds and yeah. feelings around what's working. Good. I've got it. My frontal lobes are fired up. Yay. And three of those is good. It's good to do three. Yeah. And then and then an equal amount of and what I'd like to see more of is. Versus this is what you're doing wrong. And this sucks. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't want to do that. You want to say, yeah. hey, you know, what's working is and what I'd like to see more of is. So don't take the negative things. Take the negative things and find a positive Counterpart. So yeah. I want to see more accountability instead of I want to see less dropping of balls, you know, yeah, less dropping sure. of tasks. Yeah. And then you let them sit with that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you stop talking and you let their brain go, got the stuff that's working, got the stuff that want to see more of. Shoot. Boink. Ah, okay. Here's how I bring the good stuff to the stuff that my leader wants to see more of. Got it. Good. You need to let the brain do that match. And so once that's happened, keep going on the yeah, yeah. safety belonging Yeah, matter. okay, cool. So giving the feedback. Another thing is forging that tribal identity. Hmm. Who are we together? Great word. I was bugging Harvard for years. They finally did some research on the power of the word together and yeah. how it brings us safety, belonging, and mattering. So we use that word a lot. So if we're talking to, let me give you an example. What if we're talking to our culture and we're the CEO and we're doing like, I don't know, a quarterly meeting. And how do we give everybody safety, belonging, and mattering? So, hey everybody, thank you so much for being a member of our tribe. Yeah. Thank you so much for all your important, unique contributions. As we move into this next quarter, we're gonna achieve these amazing goals in a safe and sane way. We've got proven processes, we've got standard operating procedures, and together, we're gonna rock the quarter as a tribe, each of you shining in your own way. Okay, that was a big, Glob is safety, belonging, and mattering in words. It is. And there's so much more in your book. Uh, so I so encourage much people to get tribes. it, but but it's build this trust, but now you've given us a way to know how to look at it and analyze it and then just communicate and align and sounds easy. Help people and it's constant. It's yeah, constant, Vern. Yeah. Help people really get who they are at work. Give them an identity or they will default to the one they walked in with. Let them aspire to 
really embrace that identity more and more powerfully. Yeah. And that's, that's who we are together. And that identity is forged with the company. And it's just like, ah, oh, I can become a bigger person. Christine, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Brian.